Hello my dear kids. Today we are going to do another mathematics lesson. Let's start the lesson now. Unit 4 number patterns. So kids, today we are going to learn about patterns. What do you mean by a pattern? Pattern is some sort of a repeating unit which is repeating again and again. So you may have seen so many patterns in our living environment. It can be man-made patterns or else natural patterns. There are so many patterns in this environment. Today you are going to learn about the numerical patterns or else number patterns. Patterns made of numbers. If you just count from 1 to 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 like that, you can see it's increasing by adding 1 in each term. So it is a number pattern. So let's learn more about number patterns. Here you can see some objects, colored objects, repeating again and again. Square, circle, again a square, then circle, then in the next one, triangle, and then a rectangle, again a triangle. So likewise, the same unit or the shape or the object or the color is repeating again and again. And you can also see another type of a pattern. It's made sort of triangles. One dot, three dots together making one triangle and six dots together making another triangle. So that is little advanced pattern which you will be learning in your grade six about some more, some another step ahead in number patterns. So kids, there are so many patterns. Today, let's see what is our world. What are we learning today? Number patterns with common difference. In our third term, we'll be learning about number patterns with common ratio also. But today we are learning number patterns with common difference. Now can you understand what is a number pattern? So kids, here let's see, I have given you a few numbers written in a kind of a sequence. See, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. So, each time it is increasing by adding 2. 1 plus 2, 3. 3 plus 2, 5. 5 plus 2, 7. So, can you see? There's a kind of a similarity in between each and every digit. So, it is repeating by adding 2 in each time. So such a pattern is called a sequence or else a number pattern. It is a series of number which is gradually increasing or else decreasing with a common relationship between all the numbers. So kids, each number is called a term. Here the digit 1 you call that is the first term. 3 is the second term. And 9 is the last term in this given number pattern or else number sequence. Let's learn number patterns with a common difference. So what do you mean by a common difference? Let's see the given number pattern 2, 8, 14, 20, 26. See the way the teacher has written it. Teacher has separated each term by putting a comma. And at the end of the number pattern, I kept three dots to show that it is continuing. I have taken only few digits, few numbers, but it will be continuing to another certain end. So that is how when you are writing a number pattern, you have to place three, di three dots at the end of the given number pattern to show that it is increasing or else it is just continuing. Now say this class. 2, 8, 14, 20, 26, you can see that is gradually increasing because each term is much bigger than the earlier term. So if you look for a clue to find out the difference or is the common relationship between these digits, you can find it in this way. See, the second term is always bigger than the first term. 
2 and 8. 8 is the second term. So that is bigger than 2. So if you subtract 8 and 2, you get 6. That means each time 6 is added to form the next term. So this sequence of numbers repeating with a constant value. That means it's a constant. It's not changing. 6 is the same value which is always used in terms to increase its value. The difference between any two terms is, is constant. That is 6. So the sequence of numbers which is increasing or decreasing with the same difference between adjoining terms is called a number pattern with common difference. How to find the next term? So kids, actually how can you predict which number comes next in the series of number pattern or a series of numbers? So that is really important to find the next digit or else next number coming in a given number pattern. So let's learn how to do that. See the given number pattern 2, 8, 14, 20, 26 are the numbers given there. So when you want to find the common difference, so when you are finding a clue to form the next term of the number pattern, you need to know the common difference. That means how this number pattern is increasing by adding how much. For that you need to know the common difference. So to find the common difference you always subtract. The method is subtraction. What and what you are going to subtract? You subtract the first term of the number pattern by the second term. Here 2 is the first term, 8 is the second term. So to find the common difference Let's subtract 2 from 8. The answer is 6. Check that with another two numbers. Take 14 and 20. You subtract 14 from 20 because 20 is bigger than 14. So once again you get 6. So 6 is constant there. That means that is not changing. So 6 is the number. 6 is the common figure or is common value which used in the number pattern to increase it. Number pattern is increasing by adding 6 in each and every term. So when you want to find the next term of this number pattern, you have to add 6 to the last number. In this number pattern, last number is 26. So when you want to find the next term, add the common difference. Common difference is 6. So 26 plus 6 is 32. So then 32 is the next term of this number pattern. Now see this number pattern. 50, 45, 40, 35, 30. So what sort of number pattern is this? Yes, the number pattern is decreasing. So always these number patterns have a kind of a flow. In their certain sequence, it's a certain sequence and it has a flow. Here for 50, 45, 40, 35, 30 is decreasing with the common difference. So once again, you need to find the common difference. So how to find it? Again, the method is subtraction. What and what you are going to subtract? Two terms. You have to subtract the smaller value from the bigger value. Let's take the first two terms. First number is 50, second number is 45. So let's take away 45 from 50. So the common difference which is constant is 5. Always the next digit formed after subtracting 5 from the earlier term. So when you want to find the next term of this number pattern, that means which comes after 30, how to find it? 30 minus 5. Why 5? 5 is the common difference of this number pattern. So the answer is 25. Let's try now fill in the blanks. Let's see the given number pattern 5, 11, 17, 13. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4 terms in this number pattern. And you need to fill 
three blanks which means you need to find three terms the next three terms of this number pattern again what do you have to do again find the common difference how to find it from the second term subtract the first term since this is a number pattern which is increasing you can easily subtract the first term from the second term so let's take the two numbers given here 5 and 11 first term is 5 11 is the second term so 11 minus 5 is 6 now you know the common difference which is constant in each and every term so to find the next term of after which comes after 13 what do you have to do 13 plus the common difference 6 19 so 19 comes after 13 then to find the next add again 6 that is 25 then again add 6 then you get 31 so the newly added three terms are 19 25 and 31 now try out these fill in the blanks sums so you are going to fill all these blanks given in these sequence or else in these number patterns so the first thing you have to do is find out whether the given number pattern is increasing or decreasing in both ways you have a common method to find the common difference that is subtraction always subtract the smaller digit from the bigger one smaller value from the bigger value then you get the common difference of your number patterns then that common difference you add to the last term given in your number pattern to find the next term so likewise you can add the common difference in each time you are finding the next number or as a next term in your number pattern so kids today you have learned another lesson that is about number patterns so you can do the relevant exercises which is already posted in your website and i'll meet you again with another interesting lesson till then stay safe thank you